What's going on guys, it's SpyCat, and on to another one of my favorite actors whom I collect. I got a crap load of movies of this guy. He made a crap load of movies, because he's always going broke. But anyway, the actor that I'm on today is Nicolas Cage. He's from Long Beach, California. He was born in 1964, and he's about 52 years old. So, now that that's out of the way, because that's all I can memorize without looking at a screen. Oh man. I need to stop smoking. Who cares? Let's start on with the uh, earliest Nicolas Cage movie, that the very first Nicolas Cage movie that he was in, all the way to the latest movie that I have in my collection that he was in. Yeah, so here we go. Anyway, the earliest movie that I have that Nicolas Cage was in was uh, Rumble Fish with um, Mickey Rourke, Matt Dillon, and early Diane Lane's even in here. Really good movie. Kind of reminds me of that other one. Um, there's another one like this, but I can't remember the name. Um, and it's from Francis Ford Coppola. Really good movie. Uh, this one came out when I was born in 1983. And I will be doing a uh, another video on my Matt Dillon collection, as well as my Mickey Rourke collection, too. have a lot of movies from him. And then he was in Birdie two years later in 1985. I got the VHS tape of this because I couldn't find it on DVD, but love that original one. This is an old school tape. I think it's, yeah, it's the cool ones that open up on the sides and everything by uh, RCA Columbia. That's how the tape looks. These things always take a while to put back in the cases, huh? And yeah, Spike I had to get a haircut. What do you think? Let's see, I'll put that there. Um, he was in Raising Arizona two years after that in 1987. Good movie. I like this one. This is a funny one. Holly Hunter is in that too. That was in 87. And then he was in Moonstruck, also in 1987 with Cher. Kind of a romantic uh, comedy. Um, and then he was in Time to Kill, which is an out-of-print movie. This one came out in uh, 1989, two years after uh, Moonstruck. And this one's out of print. I think I paid like $7.99 for this one because it's out of print. I don't even think you could find this on DVD. I haven't found it. It's uh, And it's one of those Republic pictures put this one out. But this is a cool one. Are you? I don't even have the price tag. But yeah, this is a kind of rare movie. He... He's crazy. Nicolas Cage is, is nuts. He's He can do any crazy, nutty role. Um, Honeymoon in Vegas. For some reason, I watched this when I was a kid tons of times. I loved this movie to death. Um, it was a great movie. And this was probably, yeah, this was probably the first Nicolas Cage that I remember as a kid watching was uh, Honeymoon in Vegas. I just loved this movie when I was a kid. He's like Elvis's and all that crap. <laughs> 1992, that came out. And uh, one year after that, 1993, he was in uh, Amos and Andrew with Samuel L. Jackson. Kind of a comedy action cop movie, I think. Um, then he was in Guarding Tess, which was out in 1994. I don't know about this movie. I, I didn't like it. Um, here's a good movie right here. I love this movie. I love this movie. And it's It Could Happen to You. This is a great movie. Nicholas K Cage plays this police officer who plays the lot, get, buys a lottery ticket, and then he goes into a, a, a restaurant, and the waitress and him are having a conversation, and he's like, hey, if I win the lottery, I'll give you half of it. And then he ends up winning the lottery, goes back, and, um... Does what he says. Gives her half the money for winning the lottery. And uh, I think it's a love story, too. They fall in love and everything like that, I think. Um, but this is a good movie. I always like re-watching that one. Um, let's see. Trapped in Paradise. This one came out in uh, 1994, too. I got the DVD unopened. And I also have the uh, VHS tape of that. Different pictures on the back. And this is probably my favorite, the best acting role 
my favorite, definitely my favorite Nicolas Cage movie, Leaving Las Vegas, is just, he plays an alcoholic that just wants to basically drink himself to death, um, and then he goes to Vegas with a bunch of money basically to kill himself and drink and just, you know, live out his last days just out in a bang, gambling all his money. Um, then he meets the, then he meets this, uh, hooker called, um, Elizabeth Shue, which she does an amazing performance in this movie. And then, uh, she falls in love with him and she doesn't want him to kill himself on alcohol. And, uh, Nicolas Cage is like, as long as you understand that you can never tell me not to drink and how much to drink, we could be together and stuff like that. And it's just really sad, emotional movie. This is definitely one of my favorite movies of all time, for sure, that uh, Nicolas Cage was in. And in uh, 1995, he was in The Rock with Sean Connery. Great action movie about Alcatraz. And then a year after that, in 1996, he was in one of my favorite movies of all time, Con Air with uh, John Malkovich. He's just a really good guy in this movie. I don't know why he ends up going to prison. He basically, in the beginning of the movie, Nicolas Cage gets in a fight, uh, a bar fight with these guys who are messing with his wife and surround him. And then um, to protect his wife, he ends up killing uh, one of them in self-defense. And they still make him go to prison. And uh, after a couple years in prison, he um, he's... I think he's just getting transported to to get released, but he has to take the same plane ride with all the other convicts that are just getting uh, moved to a different prison or something like that. And then they uh, take over the plane when Nicolas Cage just wants to go home to his wife after being in prison for a long time. And um, wife and kid. So the plane gets taken over by the convicts and uh, Nicolas Cage basically just wants to see his wife and he ends up saving the plane and everything like that. Or uh, saving the guards on the plane and all that stuff. Um, let's see. Face Off. This movie was one year later in 1997. Great sci-fi action movie. I'm going to put it right back in my F's. Great movie there. He was in City of Angels, which is a uh, great romance movie, you know what I mean? Um, I got the snapback version of that. So I'll snap it back for you guys. Good romantic uh, drama. Um, let's see. And this... You know what? This is probably like my second or third favorite Nicolas Cage movie. I remember when this came out, I rented it from the video store and I absolutely loved it. I love movies like that where it's like... He's a rich lawyer. He has. He's basically like a millionaire. And he, he chose to go after the good job instead of stay with his um, girlfriend, his high school sweetheart. And then he gets a flash, like, you know, the ghost of whatever pa past comes and meets Don Cheadle, meets him in a uh, liquor store where he's about to get shot and shows him what his life would have been like if he stayed with the girl that he uh, stayed with and just had a simple life instead of having the big job and the big money and all that stuff. Um, Gone in 60 Seconds. I don't know. I didn't like that one too much. I never really watched it. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't want to watch that one. Uh, Christmas Carol the Movie, 2001. Captain Carell's... Uh, I haven't seen this one. Corelli's Mandolin. Kind of a war action one. 2001. Adaptation. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's see. So I was on Adaptation right there. This was an okay movie. Actually, some people say this was like one of the best movies he was in. But I never really watched it yet. Um... He was in Wind Talkers. It came out in 2003. I have the uh, regular DVD that that one came out with. The first one that came out was this one. That's the regular cover. And then I have this uh, three-disc collector's edition set right here, which has a whole bunch of... It's extra long, I think, and tons of extra features. That's that. Kind of cool pictures and stuff. 
and there. Um, World Trade Center came out in 2006. I have the two disc edition of that with the slip cover. And then I have the regular uh, edition there. Ghost Rider on Blu ray. Let's see, this one came out a year after that, 2007. The Knowing, this one came out, I think, 2000. When was this? 2009. This is kind of a uh, good movie. It's like an apocalypto thriller suspense movie. I put it in uh, sci fi. Then he was in Trespass. This one came out 2011. This is a good movie about uh, people that end up breaking into Nicolas Cage and his wife's house and uh, taking their family hostage and all that. Pretty cool. He has to stand for his family and all that crap. And this is kind of a similar movie. Seeking Justice is kind of the same thing. I think they kill his family or something. It's kind of like a Taken. And he's after the guys who killed his family or something like that. Oh yeah, his wife is brutally attacked and then he gets revenge. Good movie. Um, Stolen. I haven't watched this one yet, but it says 12 hours, 10 million, one, one, oh. They kidnapped his daughter and they want money. Yeah, he's actually doing some really good movies lately. Um, and the last one I have is The Frozen Ground. This one came out 2013. Haven't watched this one yet. Hold on, hold on. Frozen Ground wasn't the last or latest Nicolas Cage movie I had in my collection. It's actually left behind. And this movie came right after Frozen Ground a year later in 2014. Left Behind. I really like this movie a lot. It's a really good movie. Um, if you don't remember the Kirk Cameron Left Behind movies that he did back in like the, I think, when did he do these? I think they were like early 2002. Um, early 2000, but he did part one, two, and three. And this, this was actually better, like they obviously had a lot more money to make this one than they did with the other Left Behind that Kirk Cameron did. But this is still a really good movie. I really want them to come out with part two and three to this movie because at the end of this movie, it's like the, when the movie just gets started, it seems to end in, uh, in this movie. So that's what I didn't like about this movie. Hopefully they're going to make a part two and three to this. I think they kind of have to because like... In, in this movie, it's like it just got started, and then it was like the end of the movie. So I don't really like that about this movie. But other than that, it's a great movie. Um, I guess Nicolas Cage is doing Christian movies now. So he's one of those actors that are went, went all Christian, you know. Probably because it went all broke. But anyway, see you guys next time for the next actor, Nicolas Cage. That's my collection. Yeah.